everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today I'm going to show you guys how to edit on iMovie and how I personally edit on iMovie. But I actually just got Final Cut Pro, but before I like transition, I wanted to show you guys how I edit on iMovie. So today we're going to be going over, I made a list, hold on. Today we're going to be going over importing, rough cuts, Ken's burns, crop to fill, audio effects, backgrounds, transitions, music, and green screen. So I really hope with this information you guys truly get a better insight on how to use iMovie kind of like Final Cut Pro. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into it. So I have my laptop here and I'm just gonna screen record. Before we get into this, I get a lot of questions on where my camera and like tripod are from. They are linked in the description box down below. They're always gonna be there. So if you guys are looking for a good camera, I used a Sony Alpha 6000 and it's a great camera. Yeah, and my tripod is like, if you were to buy one thing for your YouTube channel, I would definitely recommend a tripod. So. So this is like my setup right now. This is you guys and then like my windows right here for the natural lighting. So that's basically my setup and now let's get into the editing. So for my audio, I use the audio of my camera but I really wanna start using the voice memos on my phone so that is a great alternative. First thing we're going to start with is importing your files. All I do is just plug in my camera into the side of my computer and import them from there. So we're gonna be using a video that is has really, really bad bad lighting. It's just a scrap video. I made this video and I just didn't like because of how bad the lighting is. So to adjust like your lighting if it's too dark in your video, all you have to do is double click the part you want to edit. If you go right here, you can adjust exposure or whatever, make it a little brighter. You can go like this. The warm and cool tones you can also adjust. Everyone's lining up to see there's not a huge difference, but I'm going to tell you when you are talking quiet, it does make a huge difference in the way that your video comes out because audio and your lighting are one of the most important parts of a good video and like what keeps your viewers watching. So now that we imported like fix the audio and the lighting, I'm going to show you guys how I like zoom in and out and do a little crop for like that little quirky effect. You're going to choose your clip and then you're going to double click and you're going to go to the crop tool. It says Ken's Burns. It basically shows you where you start and then if you click on the other one, it's like your end one. It's really intriguing for your viewers to add little stuff like that. I'm talking about something important. I do the like crop to fill one or if I do like something kind of like funny, I'll do that. If you just zoom in a little bit. She's a Mona Lisa. So now that you know how to do like the cropping and like Ken's burns, I'm gonna show you guys how to do text. Everyone's text is definitely one of the most annoying things in iMovie. It's the literal worst. I think that's why a lot of people upgrade to Final Cut Pro. So what I use is titled center text because that's the one that doesn't really move. The text I use is Helvetica New. I do the outline also and then I bold it and I also do this little light I have saved. Everyone's now I'm going to show you guys how I make my really cool background. Okay, so for this, all you're going to do is put in a white background, and then what I do is I add a filter, so I'll go into the clip filters, and I will choose age film, and it has this really cool effect of like the scratches and the lines, which is super cool. And then I can put in my text like this. If you want a cool border on your picture, all you do is just cut a thing. You put your border in the main one, and then you put your film on top. You then press picture and picture, and then put that over that, and it has this really cool border. So now that you guys know how to do a border, I'm going to show you how I do my transition. Everyone's so I usually use the cross blur and I will change it to 0.3. And then also another one I use is the wipe right. Make sure when you're doing your transitions to kind of switch to a shorter time. I usually use the wipe right and the cross blur. I'm going to show you guys all of the audio effects that I use for my channel. 
here. So the main one I use is bottle cork. So bottle cork is super good if you're trying to make a little sound effect when something pops up. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right here. And then the other audio effect I like is golf swing. I'm going to show you guys what that sounds like right here. And then another one I use is a camera shutter. I'm going to show you what that is. That's pretty much all of the ones I use. I download a lot of them from YouTube. All you have to do for that is to go on Google, go on YouTube and look up your sound effect and then I screen record it and airdrop it to my computer and then I can make that sound effect. I'm going to show you a couple that I found from YouTube. I'm going to put them right here. So now for music that I incorporate into my videos that are currently right now copyright free. You always want to make sure that they are. It doesn't matter for me personally because I'm not monetized right now. So yeah, this is all the music I like to use. I'm going to do a cute little collage right now. She's a Mona Lisa. So that is all of the music that I incorporate in my video. If you just look up on YouTube, copyright free music, a bunch will pop up. And also SoundCloud is a great way to do that. You can literally just screen record the SoundCloud. So backgrounds are like the coolest way you guys can make your videos look really cool. A lot of questions I get is how I do this effect. So all you have to do for that is to make an overlay. You go to clip filter and make it the raster effect. So it has the cool lines and that's kind of like the background. You guys see in my try on hauls when like the background is that cool filter. That's how I do that. Everyone's so yeah, that is basically everything I do, but I want to show you guys the holy grail on how I just made my editing a lot better, and that is green screens. When I discovered green screens, it's truly when like my editing, I think, transformed a lot. So I'm on my phone right now, so I'm going to look up subscribe green screen. And if you see this, so if I just pop this open, so basically you just screen record the video, and then you're going to plug it into iMovie. You're going to make it an overlay on top of the film you want it in, and you're going to just just click fit and green blue screen and the whole background is gone so that is definitely one of the most helpful things you can find millions and millions so many videos I'm gonna link my favorite green screen video down below I use it for a lot of my green screen effects Everyone's also, if you want to customize your text a lot more, I would recommend to use Fonto. Fonto is a great app. I talked a lot about this in my What's My iPhone. I'm just going to show you guys how I customize my text on Fonto. I'm going to go into the Fonto app and I'm going to choose plain images. And I just go here and use and save this. Say you want to do like a days of the week, just write that in. So I'm going to say I'm going to do Sunday in this cool font and I'm going to customize it. So I have my little font there and I'm just going to save this image. And then I'm going to open up Super on pose and I'm going to put in a green screen background. I learned how to do this from Kenna Marie. It's truly revolutionized the editing game for me. And you just put that in and then you're going to hit mask and then you're going to use this little tool to just click the background. Then all you have to do is go here, here, and mask as PNG. And then if you look just a PNG thing, I'm going to put that in right there and show you that you can just make any text and customize it personally to what you're saying. If you guys can't find them on YouTube, but YouTube, there are millions of green screen videos. So that is the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This took a lot of time editing to make this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys liked it or found it helpful. I'm going to link everything down below. And also, I just got Final Cut, so hopefully my videos do improve a lot more. I really hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!